factorization of trinomials of the form ax square plus bx plus c. Okay, if any question is given in this format, how to factorize? So the format is ax square plus bx plus c means your a, b, c are in numbers like uh, factorize 3x square okay, plus 11x plus 10. So a is 3, b is 11 and c is 10. Otherwise factorize 8x square plus 2x minus 3. Like this examples are in the format ax square plus bx plus c. So constant x square coefficient is 8 that is a and x coefficient is b and constant is c. Okay, if any question are in this format, how to solve, how to find out the factorization. In simple and easy, I'll explain now. So to factorize a trinomial of the form ax square plus bx plus c. Okay, we find two numbers a and b. We need to find out two numbers a and b. So a condition is a plus b is equal to x coefficient. That means the both numbers if I add, okay, the a value and b value. So both if I add, I should get a plus b. If I add, I should get middle coefficient, means x coefficient. And same numbers if I multiply, I should get product of a, c, a and c. a and c if you multiply, what are answer you get? That should be equal to a, b. Okay, that a and b values only you need to find out. So now we proceed as it is uh, given below. I'll explain now how to find out the a and b values. So let's take one example first here. So factorize three x square plus eleven x okay, plus ten. Now this is the question. Here a is three, b is eleven, and c is ten. Okay. Now in this a value is 3 and b value is 11, c value is 10. So sum, if I add the two numbers, I should get 11. So middle is 11. And a value, a is 3, b va c value is 10. 3 into 10 is 30. Now I should find out one a number and b number. There's two numbers, the sum a plus b. If I add 11 should come. Same numbers if I multiply, this 30 should come because already a into c I did a is 3, c is 10. If I multiply 30, if I add 11. So just to find out the numbers. Now if you apply the rule, that one, 6 plus 5, okay, 11, and 6 into 5 is 30. Same numbers, a, b. Sum should be 11 and product should be 30. So you should make like this. So this is the first step we need to find out. That means 11 I should split into 6 and 5. Now, once you can able to do this, no problem is very simple. Now, you write 3x square plus 11x plus 10. Now, 3x square starting is asked is we'll write. And plus 10, third term was asked is. Middle one only, we need to split into two parts. Okay, middle term. Middle term is x term. That we should split into two parts. The two parts is what we did now, 6, in, six and 5. So plus 6x plus 5x. Okay. 11x I can write, 6x plus 5x. Only 6 and 5. Why only should take means? 6 plus 5 is uh, x coefficient is coming. 6 into 5 is x square coefficient into constant value. That is coming, right? Now take the common from first to two terms. 3x we can take common, hcf. I used to common factor. <coughs> 3x if we take common, x is in the first term is left. Plus 2, because 3 to the 6x. Plus from next to 2 terms, 5x plus 10 is 5 common. x plus 2, because 5 to the 10. That's it. Now x plus 2 is a common polynomial, multiplied here. And 3x in the first set, plus 5 in the second term. So x plus 2 into 3x plus 5. So this way you can solve easily. Fine. Okay, I'll explain you one more example. This is only one sum. Let me take one more question. So factorize. Factorize. Here question is 8x square 
plus 2x minus 30. Okay, each and every step need not write just to see x square coefficient is 8 constant is minus 3 okay 8 into minus 3 8 into minus 3 is equals to minus 24 now middle number is 2 middle means x coefficient is 2 and a into c value that is minus 24 now minus 24 and 2 if I multiply minus 24, if I add 2, for this I should get sum and this is product that we need to find out. So if I add that numbers, 2 should get any two numbers if I add. Minus 24 is product. Okay, once observe this both 18, 3. Now you can take two values 6 into 4. Okay, observe here. 6 into 4 is 24, but you need minus 24. So what you can take 6 into minus 4. 6 into minus 4 is minus 24. And 6 plus minus 4 is plus 2. Okay, that is important here. Only the guessing by using these two numbers, exactly if you are able to find out, your problem is very simple. So 6 into minus 4 is minus 24. And 6 plus minus 4 is 2. That's it. Now, 8x square and minus 3 is as it is. Middle 2x only I need to write into two parts. That is 2x is same. 2 I can write 6 plus minus 4. So, 6x minus 4x. 6 minus 4x is 2x and 6 into minus 4 is minus 24. Now, take the common from first two terms. And last two terms, 8x square plus 6x. So what you can take common, take 2x is HCF. If you common, then 4x plus 3 here. Now if next to two terms, there is no any common. So 1 only can take. So minus 1 I am taking common. Then 4x plus 3. Because uh, minus, four, minus 1 into 4x is minus 4x. And minus 1 into plus 3 is minus 3. Right? Or in the bracket, so multiplier of this polynomial must get same. So 4x plus 3 is a common polynomial or common multiplier in both terms. Then 2x minus 1. 2x is the first and minus 1 from here. So 4x plus 3 into 2x minus 1. Right. So this way we can solve easily. Splitting in the middle term in the both. Okay. One more question I'll explain you to do simple and easy. Okay, let's take one question. Factorize 14x square minus 23x plus 8. Okay, even numbers are big also same type. So what you should do? Sum is, the sum should be equal to minus 23 because x coefficient. And product, product means multiply. Product should come a and c, that is 14 into 8. Okay, 14 into 8 is uh, 112. So you need to find out A, B. A and B numbers. If I add sum should be minus 23. If I multiply 112 should come. So if any numbers are big also, you need to verify in that case. Only. Now if you observe clearly, it says uh, sum is minus 23. If you observe 16 into 7, that is minus 16 plus minus 7 is minus 23 and for this minus 16 into minus 17 is plus 112 this clearly says now once you are able to find out now it's very simple so 14 x square whenever the numbers are little bigger then you need to take, uh, take care about to find out that uh, process now minus 23 you can write into two parts that is uh, same we got right minus 16 minus 7 so minus 16x minus 7x plus third term 8 as this. Now only taking HCF of first two terms and last two. First two terms if you take HCF as common is here. What you can take common maximum is 2x. 2x if you take common that is 7x because 2 7s are 14 and here 8. And there is no common just 
take minus 1 common. So 7x minus 8 because minus 1 don't take common. Then 7x minus 8 is a common multiplier of polynomial. 2x minus 7 is another polynomial. So product of polynomials. If you are able to write any given trinomial, this is nothing but factorization. Right? So this way. So we need to find out this logic a plus b. Sum should be x coefficient and product should be a and c. x square coefficient and constant if you multiply. Then you can find out easily. So this is the way we can do factorization of trinomials in the form ax square plus bx plus c. Okay. Now not only these few examples, some more examples also I am showing one website right. In this link also I am giving in description below as I explained starting. So just to find out that and get your own class wise uh, materials for freely you can download and subscribe the channel in case you do not do because you will upload only videos which are related to the education especially useful for children.